This is one of the fastest farms that I have ever seen, period. What's up guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Use this for infinite fuel, XP, or as a bone meal farm. I wish I could take credit for this work of genius, but this was made by Ramarin and Likeable Clock. There are some awesome creators and their links are in the description. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they're gonna let me steal a few more builds, so you should be seeing some more of their builds coming soon. This farm is fast, fun, and not that complicated. And it uses the rotating furnace method with some really cool redstone. Not many people use this method. I think it's super clever. Enough chit chat, let's get going. But before we get going, if you haven't noticed, I'm lazy. And I don't like doing supply lists. But if you do the supply list, I will pin your comment and give you a shout out in one of my upcoming videos. All right, let's get going. Okay, so step one is you have to be inside of a chunk border. Now, I have a resource pack that helps me find chunk borders. It's down here at the bottom. But doing some simple math, you can also calculate chunk borders. The reason you want to be inside of a chunk border is if you're not, your zero tick farm might break. So be sure and be inside of that border. And the collection system is kind of in the center of your build anyway, so that works out well. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, to start off, let's lay down a double chest. Then we're going to place down one, two hoppers going into the side, just like that, and do the same thing on this side. Then let's place two hoppers going into the top, just like this, and a hopper going into this hopper, and uh, just one, and a hopper going into this hopper. It'll look something like that. Now let's place down some chest. We're going to do a double chest right here. Do another one on this side. And one more on this side. Now, I know, I know, a lot of people tell me, hey, you can crouch and place at the same time so that you're not flying up and down all the time. That actually does not work on mobile, which is what I'm playing on. I play mobile with a controller. Okay, and then we are going to place hoppers going into each one of these chests. You will notice that we are using a lot of hoppers, which means a lot of iron. And so I highly suggest building an iron farm and i've got plenty of those just check the link below okay now let's come around to the back of this and we're going to build up one two blocks just like this and it needs to be glass and we're going to run glass this way we have to use glass because it doesn't carry redstone signal otherwise that's going to mess with your hoppers here and then we can run solid blocks right here along the back of that glass like that let's go ahead and put down redstone here and redstone here just like that and then we're going to put smokers on top of each one of these hoppers we're going to need a ton of smokers as you saw in the materials list some people are kind of ocd about which way the smokers are going to place i am not so i'm going to place smokers on the back of these just like this for me it doesn't matter which direction they go there we go and now we did that so that we can place observers facing up looking at those smokers there we go just like that now i thought i did this right apparently we're gonna have to lay down the observers first and then we'll lay down those solid blocks there we go just a timing thing cool just like that now we're going to take pistons and place them on top of that redstone right there just like this and then we're going to build a temporary block then place a block Break that block and build a row like this because we need this redstone to connect to these pistons. Okay, now let's go ahead and come to the front of the build. And we're going to come forward one, two, three, four smokers like that. And then we are going to fill in all of these rows with smokers. Okay, and you'll get something that looks like this. Now let's take a temporary block, place it there, and then place a solid block there. Break that block. And we're going to run in pistons that are pointing in towards these smokers all the way down the row. Then we will go ahead and finish off this row of solid blocks. Then we are going to have observers facing in towards the smokers like this on top of the pistons. And then we can run a row of redstone just like this. Now, before we go any further, because I don't want our build to mess up, 
Uh, come around to this first row of pistons that you built, place down a lever and flip it on. That way those pistons extend, and that's going to keep our mechanism from starting before we finish our build. Okay, now on this row of observers, let's go ahead and place down smokers like this, and then another row on top. Come around to the back of those smokers where you're going to place where our fuel's going to go in. So we need hoppers. We're going to go just like this, placing hoppers going into each one of those. Go ahead and place down a double chest on each one of those as well. Then let's place a hopper here and here, right like that. And then here and here. Then let's do double chest on top of that. And then we will do a hopper going into that chest, a hopper going into that chest, and then a double chest here. That way, we put all of our fuel in here and it gets distributed evenly to all of the smokers down here. Okay, now skipping a block above these smokers, we want to place a piston pointing down. And an easy way to do that is use one of these hoppers as kind of your anchor and boom, just like that. And then you can use the other pistons to choose the direction of the pistons that you're laying down like this. So those need to be pointing down with a gap in between. Then we are going to have observers facing down next to those pistons like this. Then we're going to have redstone on top of the pistons and the observers. Just like that. Okay, now on these observers, we're going to place smokers. Just like that. And then we're going to come forward one, two, three, four. Do that all the way. Okay, now we are almost completing our little circle here. I guess you don't have circles in Minecraft, but you know what I mean. On top of these extended pistons, we can place down a row of smokers. And then another row on top of that. Now we need some observers on this row of smokers, just like this, all facing in. Then we will turn around and place a row of pistons on top of those observers. Come back to the observers, place a row of blocks and redstone connecting to the pistons like that. Now we're at a point where we can test this first part out. This is our super smelter. And so to test it out, what we're going to do is turn this off like that. Uh, we are going to come this way, place a block here, place an observer facing out like that. Go ahead and throw a lever in front of that. And it should go ahead and start working. And as you can see, we have even rotation. This is probably my favorite part of this build. The redstone is so clean. I'm really impressed with the timing of this. Makes for an amazing super smelter. I'm gonna turn it off. You can do that by coming over here, extending these pistons. And we're going to connect an on-off switch at the end that comes up here to the front so it's all really close. But yeah, to get the thing going again, if you ever want to test it, you just unextend these pistons and then flip the switch. Okay, so on this top row over here to one side, we're going to lay down a block. And that can be a temporary block, but we need it to fill up a chest. This is going to be our bone meal part of the farm. We're going to crouch and we're going to place hoppers going into that chest. Or actually, they're going into each other, but the last one goes into the chest. So they're all directional facing this way going into this chest. On top of those hoppers, we are going to place composters. Just like that. And then on this row of smokers, we're going to place hoppers. I told you guys this is going to require a lot of iron. Be sure and get that iron farm. Now we need a temporary block right here and then a sticky piston like that. You can break that block and then we're gonna have sticky pistons right here close to these composters. And then connected to those sticky pistons going into the composters, we're gonna have another row of hoppers. Now behind the sticky pistons, we are going to place some blocks and some redstone. And then we can lay down a switch here and you will see they'll all extend. This changes it to a bone meal farm. This changes it to a kelp block farm. Either way is good. Okay, now it's time to do the zero tick part of this. So we're gonna place a double chest here. 
and do that all the way. You will place hoppers going into each one of those double chests. And then right here where the sticky pistons are extending these hoppers, we are going to place a row of blocks here. And we're going to place one on the end and coming up like that, kind of making a U shape. Then we can actually place down sand. Now I'm getting a little nervous. I'm noticing that we're close to our chunk border, so I'm hoping that it still works. Okay, I'm going to place a temporary block there and a block here and then place down a row of blocks here. This is going to be our floor, and actually I'm gonna place a door right here. That's kind of our maintenance door because sometimes uh, with these zero tick farms, they can break and you have to replace the sand. Then temporary block there, block there, and run a row of blocks this way. Then I can place a block there, a block there, now I'm going to grab some sticky pistons and place them facing in towards the sand like that. Now this opposite side of the door, I'm going to go ahead and close in. I'm going to run a row of blocks back here like this. Go ahead and lay down redstone dust. And then I'm going to place a block here. And we are getting really close. Uh, I need to do a repeater clock just like this. So I'm going to place three blocks like that. I'm going to place a block here, here, and here, and connect the redstone like that. Then I'll need a redstone torch, a repeater facing this way, and that's a scary sign. All of my sand broke. I might be on that chunk border. We're going to try again, though. So we're going to place down the sand there, and then I'm going to place down sand here, and then you want blocks here like this surrounding the sand even on top here. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this switch, see what happens. Okay, nothing's breaking, that's a good sign. And this redstone should be on when you flip it off and that way the stand stays in place. Now I'm going to place down a row of blocks here, kind of facing the front of the build. I need normal pistons just like this. I'm gonna build up these walls here. And I'm actually going to place a wall here, here, and then use glass blocks because I like to see what's going on here on the front. And this is all going to be full of water, so you want to make sure that you're closing this off like that. Then let's build up one more row of blocks, just like that, and we'll place a row of blocks here. Now on this part where you're going to use trap doors, Go ahead and place those down. They need to be on the upper part of this block. And we can come and waterlog each one of those. And then our block is just in reach. We can plant kelp. And we just need to connect our redstone. Redstone torch here. Block. Redstone torch. Block. And then we are going to run blocks this way. And then put redstone here and then you have to put it up here as well all right now if we did this right we're gonna have crazy amounts of kelp let's see what happens so i'll go over here it's a little loud but as you can see our kelp is growing like crazy it's gonna be filling up these chests well actually it's emptying out because it's going down here to our smokers and then when you flip it off it should all stay planted we are getting some loss up here, but you can always collect that and use that for replanting later. This thing works crazy, crazy fast. And of course you can use it for bone meal, like we said. See, really fast bone meal farm. Look at how fast it's going. I like to connect everything up here to the front. And the reason I like that is I like for an on and off switch to be up here. That's just very helpful. So what we're going to do is run some blocks next to this observer here, going this way. That was one, two, three, four, five blocks. And then we want to run the redstone signal down like this, kind of stair stepping it down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break this. That's gonna lower the pistons. And then here we're going to place a button. A reason for a button is it pulses long enough to stop the machine. And then we're going to run redstone this way. Now that redstone is not supposed to connect. So we need to go ahead and throw a block here. 
There we go. Just have the redstone come down. Then we need to throw a repeater here at the bottom and then connect the redstone. So let's flip our super smelter on. And then to make it stop, we press the button and it stops. And then if you want to flip it on again, you just have to flip the switch up or down. Now we have this switch up here, which turns off and on our kelp. Uh, I actually don't mind leaving that here, but if we want to try and get it all the way down here, we can. It's really not that difficult. You just run some blocks. Just make sure your redstone's not connecting anywhere else. There you go, just like that. And then, of course, you have this switch over here, which converts everything into bone meal or using the super smelter. Uh, I'm going to leave that one over here, or actually, we could just move it over here this way. So that's at least on the same side of the build as everything else. Okay, now I want you to see this with the super smelter in action. So I'm going to flip this on. We are going to flip the super smelter on. And I should probably add some fuel. You're going to have unlimited fuel because you're going to be using kelp blocks. But to get started, I suggest using planks. And then once you have enough kelp that's smelted, you can start using those kelp blocks. Okay, you're going to see our smokers changing color. We're going to come down here. And our chest is going to start... Oh, holy cow. <laughs> I mean, I just checked it. It had zero. Look at how fast it's going. That, my friends, is insanity. Okay, it's going super fast. Now, I will point out that sometimes, and this is probably because I'm close to a chunk border, sometimes your sand and your kelp is going to break. If that happens, you can simply come in here, replace the sand. It's kind of hard to walk down here, so what I might do is bring this floor down one more. There we go. Yeah, because you want enough room to be able to walk but you also don't want, if water happens to get down here, you don't want it to ruin your redstone. So you want to wall that in. Guys, as you can see, this thing is absolutely insane. I'll be doing a mini version of this later. I'm really, really thankful to be able to work with some awesome builders and creators. Check out their links below. This thing was amazing. I'm Profe Pablo, and as always, thanks for watching.